Hi guys, thank you so much for all the positive feedback for my uh, Bella Ciao finger style video. If you have not seen it yet, you can check it out right there. In this video, I'll try to explain what I'm playing step by step, slowly. First the slow part, and after that the little bit faster part, which is kind of the same, but I'm just adding a little bit more strums. I'll uh, try to explain how I do this and the concept behind it. So, grab your ukulele, make sure it's in tune, and let's get it going. Alright, so we start grabbing the F minor chord, okay? And with the right hand, I'm positioning my finger so that the thumb is always on the G string, pointing finger is always on the C string, middle finger always on the E string, and ring finger always on the A string, okay? Like this. Alright, so we start like this, playing the C string and after that the E string and then I remove the pointing finger of my left hand to play open G string with the thumb and then I get it back and then middle finger and then I strum, okay? so. We repeat the same thing one more time. And after that, we start the same way. But here we go on the second line now, where I'm just plucking the upper three strings, avoiding the A string, okay? And after that, I'm removing the pointing finger of the left hand, G, E, and here we grab back the F minor but also with the ring finger reaching here for the third fret of the C string. Okay, then again removing the pointing finger here, G, E, and after that we grab C major 7 like this. I'm playing the whole chord once and then I'm strumming up and then removing the bar here on the second fret and immediately starting the three, one, three. All right, let's slowly see what we have so far. And after that, we are going to A sharp minor, like this, barring here on the first fret with the ring finger on the third fret of the G string and also the pinky on the fourth fret of the A string, all right? And what I'm doing is playing the whole chord and then on the up strum, I'm trying to accent more on the A string only. Okay. And then we have this. All right, so we're moving the pinky from fourth fret to third fret, playing the third fret of the G string and grabbing F minor again, but this time with the pinky on the fourth fret and then sliding it back on the up strum. Okay. And then A string reaching right here on the third fret of the G string, then removing it. All right, and after that, playing C like this, I'm barring here on the third fret the A and E string, but actually I'm avoiding the A string. At first, then I play only the A string, and then on the fourth fret of the E string, removing it and getting back to F minor, avoiding the A string here, all right? Okay, let's see the whole thing slowly so far.
All right. And after that, we have the repeat sign. And what I'm doing uh, on my original video, I'm playing the same thing, a little bit speeded up, and I'm doing more strums. So probably some of you are interested in that. So I'll try to explain what I'm doing. But be aware that it's good to have mastered the first, the slow part first and then adding strums. Pretty much what I'm doing is uh, whenever I have a little bit longer note, I'm just adding some strums. So let's see what I have there. Okay, up to this point, I'm doing exactly the same, but here on the strum, I'm doing down, down, up. Okay, and after that, the same. All right, and after that, and here I'm starting to do more down strums. All right, so pretty much here on every note that I see, I'm actually playing all the strings, all right? And after this point, this is where I get really loud. All right, I'm doing something like down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, all right? Okay, and here on the second ending, I'm going to F7, like this, all right? From top to bottom is two, three, one, three. Okay, and then I'm barring with my pointing finger right here on the first fret and then getting the pinky and repeating the same thing. And here on the second time that I'm going to F7, I'm doing these downs and ups first very quickly and after that I'm slowing it down. And the down I'm doing it with the pointing finger and the up with the thumb. And they're like together like this. It's a movement from the wrist, something like. And after that, I do the outro thing again, but this time again quietly. All right, and here on the second ending of the outro, I'm doing this. All right, adding on the A string, five, seven, and then I'm finishing on F minor, but right like this. Okay, barring on the eighth fret and on the fifth fret of the G string with the pointing finger. And this is how I end it. So that was my step-by-step -step tab reading tutorial for uh, Bella Chow. Thank you so much for watching it till the very end. And also let me know in the comments below which song would you like to see me do next? I really like your suggestions. I'm reading it all and replying to most of them. Um, should I say something else? No, I think that's all. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye.